Hey all, and welcome to MetaZoomania. We are doing something a little different today. We are going to be looking at how to set ourselves up to play MetaZoo online from start to finish on Tabletop Simulator. Now I know you might be thinking, is this deja vu or something? No, we just uh, updated the video a little bit. So let's get right into it, shall we? First off, we're going to start by going to download ourselves Steam or set up ourselves on Steam, so a Steam account. And so we're just gonna go straight to the Steam store and we are going to create a new account. So first we'll go to login. I already have an old Steam account, but just for the sake of this video, we'll start from scratch. So we'll go to join Steam and then we'll enter our email address and all our details. And hit continue. So now we just need to verify our email address. And there we have it, email verified. So now that we've done that, we can create our account. So we're going to put in our uh, Steam account name and choose a password for it. All right, now that we have that, let's just download the actual Steam app for the PC. Makes things a lot easier to keep track of. Open that, do the quick little install. Of course, I've already got the Steam app installed on my computer, so I'm not gonna install it myself. If you don't have it already, just make sure to install that. Once we have that all set, we're gonna go ahead and buy ourselves Tabletop Simulator. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can buy it at a discounted price. So we're just gonna click on buy. Of course, I, if you don't have an account, then we're just gonna go through the process of creating an account so we can get it for the smart price. So we're just gonna sign in through Steam using the account we just created. Need to go back to our email and confirm the email for or Gamervo. And now we're just going to check out. And there it is. We should have the discounted price. And then we'll go through the uh, payment process, but I'm just going to uh, skip this part so you don't see any uh, details. All right, now that you've got the order complete, let's go through the process of actually getting the game. So you can have a look at the how to activate, but I can just show you the general gist of it, which you're just copying that uh, link there in the big box and you just paste it in and go straight to it. Seeing as you already signed into Steam, it will just give you a gift. So you accept the gift all right, so now we're just going to sign in to our Steam through the app and make sure that we can see that in the app as well. And there it is, Tabletop Simulator. Now, of course, I've already had it downloaded before, but for you, it should say install. And all you have to do is uh, yeah, press install, it'll start downloading. 
it won't take long seeing as the game itself is not too big but once we have that installed we'll just go over to workshop which you can find over in the hub and we'll type in metazoo and here we're going to get two add-ons from the workshop the metazoo deck builder and the play metazoo table for two the two designed by uh, Aussie Brickster and then we're going to load the game up Alright, so you're going to be greeted by two options. We're going to go straight into the create and single player to first start off with building a deck. Here you'll see all the uh, workshop add-ons that you've subscribed to. So make sure to press load on the deck builder. And here we have the new updated table. So a quick look at the whole table here. All right, so we're gonna go through some quick controls for the table. So holding down the right mouse button will let you uh, rotate the camera around. Holding down the middle mouse button and clicking will let you pan around. And then scrolling in and out with the scroll wheel, you can just zoom in and out. All right, so now we're gonna look at everything that's on the table. We have the rule book which you can see has all the pages that you need if you want to go through everything in detail. Then you have a couple of pages if you want to have a look at the quick uh, meaning for everything so you don't have to go through the entire rule book and a quick how to play guide. Above that we have our Terra bag now to go through and search any of the bags, you simply just right click on the bag and go to search. And from here, there's two ways to search for things. You can type in the actual name if you know exactly what it is you're searching for, or you can just simply look through all the cards. You can see it's uh, scanned in very nicely. Then moving on, we have our aura section. We can see we have our three neutral auras. And then all the auras that came out in the five sets so far. Then above the board, we have all our tokens. Above the tokens, we've got all cards by aura type. So we can search each of these bags by aura type and see any card that has come out up to date, I believe, even the different promos like the fan arts and stuff, and start building our decks. Then off to the left hand side of that, we've got our two deck bags. So we've got theme decks, which we can search and these are the complete deck that came out or whichever one is uploaded up to date that is as you can see you can pull it out and you have all the cards that came with the actual deck so it's an easy way to get started if uh, you don't really have an idea of what you want to play and you just want to try something that's already made um, but beneath that we have our release event decks So now let's go through the process of actually making a deck ourselves. So I'm just going to make a deck that I've already made in real life, just so I know exactly what it is that I'm searching for. So I'm just going to be typing the name of the card at the top, get that Hell's Gate. Get gassy. So now if you want to get duplicates of cards, 
it's quite simple because if you notice when you pull a card out it will use the card in the bag so instead of having to close the bag and reopen it every time you can simply right click on the card and go down to clone and then left clicking on each slot for however many clones or duplicates you want to use of the card now that we know the little basics of the table and making a deck I'm just gonna quickly fast forward all of this stop treading on that snooze button run Open your eyes and see everything it was And is and will be all at once See the truth, don't hide from others' love Bask inside that alarm clock, but Wake up Amongst the sun, see the day for everything it could be. Stop treading on that snooze button, run. Open your eyes and see everything it was, and is and will be all at once. See the truth, don't hide from others, love. Bask inside that alarm clock, boy. We metaphysical. I alone am ten people on the blunt. Wake up. It's a physical. You're always dying and your death has yet to come. That's the deck finished. So now I want to show you how to actually save the deck for when we want to play it in any game in the future. So first thing we're going to do is highlight all the cards that are going to be used in the deck. And we're going to hover over one card and press G that will gather all the cards into one pile and then we're going to right click and go down to save object then you just name it whatever you want to name the deck I'm just going to name it flame spirit and hit save and then if you ever want to get the uh, deck that you made and saved out again it's quite simple, so we'll just quickly delete this to give you a quick look. You just go up to Objects, that's on the top, down to Save the Objects, and there it is. And you pull it out and you can see your entire deck that you just made. So now let's go and have a look at what it looks like to play on the actual table. So we're going to go back to the main menu and we're going to go to Create. So say we're going to play against someone, we'll go to multiplayer and we'll create a server. So here you put in things like your server name, your server type, whether you want it to be public or friends only or invite only. And then you can set a password and the maximum number of players. So we're going to make sure to choose the MetaZoo table for two and hit load. So now here we have the table that we'll actually be playing on. So you can see all the different little sections on the right hand side, the little life point counter. We can put burn indicators for the actual caster on the actual life point counter. Simple minus on the left. Addition on the right. You see the playmat here with all the sections. We've got the little guides to help us if we ever, you know, need to look up the rulings mid-game. We've got our tokens. And then the cool thing about this is our save for burns that we need to roll a dice for. The actual token is the dice itself. So we can just roll that. And to change the dice numbers, you can just click on the actual number that you want. You have normal dice. And it lets you know what you actually roll as well. You have the heads or tails dice.
Then underneath that, we've got our little tokens. So we have three different colors to indicate three different things. Say if you have a beastie token or an artifact token, uh, left click for to increase and you right click to decrease. Here we have our modify counters. Underneath we also have our life point counters and we have token counters or counter for any other reason and our damage counters. Now these all work in the same way where you know, left clicking or right clicking will increase or decrease once it's on the actual field. So now let's have a look at bringing in our deck that we just made. So as mentioned before, we just simply go to objects and saved objects then we bring in our deck so to flip the deck over we press F F is to flip any card over that you have and we'll just drag that into the spellbook zone now to shuffle cards you just simply press R then to draw cards, you simply press the number of cards you wish to draw. So if you're going to draw 7, you press 7. Say if we're going to mulligan, then we'll just flip the cards over after highlighting them all, put them back in the deck, shuffle it, and then we'll press 6 to draw 6. So let's continue on from this. So say we draw for turn by pressing 1 and then we'll set some things down so i'll set down two terrors as you can see it actually clicks into spot and we can play on the actual arena field anything that isn't marked already by a field can be placed anywhere so now to fatigue a card or to rotate it you can either press q or e and that way you can indicate say to play a fireball spell I need to generate one fire aura so I'll just fatigue the fire aura and play the spell and then we just take it away from the opponent's life points as you can see it's quite simple easy to read we'll also give him a burn so we'll roll that burn dice and put that number right there so we know that the caster himself is burnt so now, once we are finished with the turn, we'll press end turn, but of course, because we have no one else playing with us, it doesn't quite end it that way. Let's say if it goes back to our turn, we simply click awaken, and any card that's fatigued will awaken again. Now say if we want to put a damage indicator on one of our BST cards, or anything on the field I suppose, we simply we hold left and right mouse button down at the same time and drag it over and then we either left click to increase the amount of damage or right click to decrease the amount of damage so once we're finished with the game we can simply just put our hand on the board anything that's on the board that's ours we'll highlight and then we'll press F to flip and then G together and there we have it. That is the quick little tutorial on the basics of how to set yourself up to play MetaZoo Online using Tabletop Simulator. From getting a Steam account to getting the game itself, all the mods, building a deck, playing on an actual table, having a look at how the table works. I hope this video was helpful and you enjoyed it. If so, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for joining me and peace.